Salutations friends, my name is Verona Sukiyamavan, otherwise known as No Ordinary Scholar. And welcome, frankly, to a spoiler. I am currently in my new apartment. We are in Chicago. Uh yeah, it's it's been a long it's been a wild ride, and I did record it for you. I have so much footage that I'm sitting on, but the process of editing it is going to be a while. Of course, I'm in the middle of a move. So getting things put together and like settled into a place where I can officially like start working and actually getting into a rhythm again has been so long. Like it is currently, it's almost Halloween 2021 right now <laughs> that like this footage that I'm about to show you for you for the second moving vlog is from June. That's how rough it's been. <laughs> But yeah, like we literally have like all of our like this is my like chair my office chair from the apartment We officially got all of our stuff moved out to Chicago and moved into this apartment at the beginning of this month so <laughs> It's been a process. We're going about it as fast as we can But again, I, I I've got you I've been recording stuff and I have so so much so much to show you not gonna lie, there are decent chunks of it that aren't videos, and I took so many photos. So this video, like for the second moving video, second moving vlog, is pretty much just gonna be like us sitting down, looking at, like going through a photo album together. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be super cute. We're gonna have fun. And I'm very excited to get through this video, to dig into the rest of the footage I've been recording, and maybe see, see what we can share with you guys, okay? Let's do it, let's do it. This is really the first photo I took, of course it's some cats, of course it's some cats. So where we left off was, uh, we had just bought some stuff for us to pack for the move. We were trying to figure out how in the world we were going to shove that into our suitcases. We hadn't put stuff in the tanker yet, so we were just like dividing up stuff, packing stuff still. Let me say, let me tell you, packing this tanker was absolutely exhausting it was like jenga times five not even jenga, it was it was the hardest of core levels of tetris because we had way too much stuff in that tanker it we we stuffed it we stuffed it quite a bit but we were packing like at this point we were packing our cats were very confused this is these photos are like of chip and nugget and then another one of just chip which i have some more photos of him as we were like uh, like packing things he got into some weird fucking places <laughs> that a cat as, like he's a 20 pound cat i don't know how he got there he got into some weird ass places but this is them being cute and cuddly and confused about the fact that we are moving so yeah of course we are moving and we got to hang out with some of Xavier's friends. They took us on some, like they took us to go see some sites. I frankly have not been, hadn't been around Hawaii a lot. I didn't know anyone there. I hadn't been around much. I was mostly working all the time. I hadn't been, I was living in Hawaii for like four or five years. I hadn't been to the beach until our wedding day. And so we, they took us around, took us sightseeing. But yeah, that's the city, some beaches, cause Hawaii. And then this was, I'm 92% sure this is, I don't even know what it's called, but it's these two mountains that are close together because they're close together and they're high up. The wind through there is extremely strong like no matter what time of the year the wind between that area is super strong because the air is forced through a much smaller space so we went up there and funny fucking story about this photo you can't see it in the photo i took and i'm very upset about that there's several things i'm very disappointed in myself poor youtuber skills but uh we went this this spot was right here the mountains i was just talking about this was a little bit further down the road from those mountains and we stopped to take some pictures look around and this car that is right here we saw uh i don't know what like we saw this car and then the family was all outside and one of the windows was broken one of the back windows was broken but 
all of the glass from the window was on the outside of the car and it made it look like someone had broken out as opposed to breaking in because it's probably because like the tint and stuff like that that made the window stick together more post being broken so they pro like if it was broken too it was probably ripped in but like upon first viewing it, it looked like someone like they were sitting there calling the police because their hostage escaped <laughs> and i thought that was absolutely hilarious but again it was probably like their tint caused the window and like the glass to stick together for longer so once it was broken whoever was probably breaking into their car reached in and grabbed the glass and broke it and pulled it in to gain access to the car. So empty. His bags, things that we need to pretend we can shove into our suitcases, my suitcases, my duffel, and that's a bunch of stuff we are donating to like Goodwill and friends and whatnot. It's. Uh, it's Good. So yeah, that was what our apartment looked like post filling up our tanker. But yeah, so that was that was what it looked like. All of that shit, that like that mountain of shit by the bed, though, we forced into our suitcases in duffel bags. Like I don't understand how we did it, but it was excessive. <laughs> and then we also do have this video of like just just us hanging out with our cats like our cats our cat coco loves like my theory is that coco loves to play monkey in the middle want evidence here you go chip move chip scoot your boots <laughs> good shit, good shit, good spike, good spike. <laughs> Gotten better. She's just, she's just too hot, pro a player. She got it. She got it. She's too pro a player. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Back, chip, pass back. <laughs> First and foremost, if you think that was way too much cat content, you are in the wrong place. I honestly don't do shit with my cats that that much on the channel. I really need to do more. But when I do more, I expect no complaints. Okay. <laughs> so moving on. Uh, in the later days, this next clip is gonna be from before we actually ended up in the hotel. We spent hanging out with some of Xavier's friends. This next clip, we went to, we went to like a game bar place, a video game bar, like 
it's they have like arcade games and shit and then you can get alcohol i forgot what the name of it was but we went there and like we played some games and xavier wanted to show us this specific game that i put the clip in in because he notorious he's notorious for constantly re-breaking the record on this machine so he went ahead and had us had us come show I, I recorded I think he did it like two or three times and I recorded one of those times and this is that Again, my babies are absolutely precious and they are just getting into they're just getting into everything, but like also how the fuck did Chip get in there? This is a drawer that has like it is it is a little cabinet. They're like open doors on the bottom, drawers and like the amount of space that in there that is in there is not big it's not big at all like i don't understand how he physically like belly to back fit in there let alone jumped in there to get in there because it's elevated off the i don't understand how he got there but that was one of his favorite fucking spots to be when the apartment was closed was closing down i i also have quite a few like photos and videos of them because we were without them for like a week and it was very emotionally devastating for me we put them in a kennel because taking cats on a plane is super fucking complicated, especially in and out of Hawaii. So we had to put them in a kennel. We hired a company to move them for us. So that way I was already stressed the fuck out. I would be so devastated if something happened would, and I was either not able to move my cats or we lost them. I, I, I wouldn't have been able to handle it. So we had another company move our cats. We were with up them for a week there in the kennel. It was it was sad. It was very tragic. Okay, these next few photos are from some walks Xavier and I went on. No, we were not just taking some casual strolls. We were as we were taking things down in the apartment, some sort of tape we used to put up a picture ripped the paint off the wall. So we had to go to a hardware store that was nearby and by nearby I mean like an hour long walk and while we were on the way I just found some like some of these areas were really really pretty this is some buildings that I thought looked like UFOs and pyramids so I took pictures of them and then just the city a ditch I, I swear it looked pretty in real life that's my male human if you didn't know this next clip I'm very upset with myself. So I took like a quick, quick, this is empty house. I'm very upset with myself because if you, you're gonna see in the clip, there is a monster energy drink. Like two, if I had moved the camera down two inches, I would have had a photo like or an image of our keys for the apartment. And like the fact that I didn't take a like separate photo of our keys friend style, especially because the friends reunion came out at this time. So I should have known that that was a thing and I should have jumped on that chance to get the SEO tag in. God damn it. <laughs> I'm very ashamed of myself, but the fact that I didn't even like catch it in this video that I did real quick. Ugh. YouTuber fail. <laughs> oh, it's gone. We're out of here. We don't live here no more. <laughs> it's all empty. Oh.
These are some photos I took looking fine, if I do say so myself. But <laughs> these are some photos I took where before Xavier, myself, one of his friends, and Xavier's mother, and we all went to eat at Xavier's old job at this restaurant in a very bougie ass hotel. But they loved him and he left on good terms so they gave us a free dinner and it was great and we had fun and i love that fucking jacket of his it's it's great it's fantastic ah at last this is actually this is us waiting we were waiting to get picked up by his friends so we can get to we this is this at the hotel we were waiting to go to airport we were waiting to go to the airport and I, I think this picture is adorable. Also, my hair looks fantastic. And then this is just, some, just a photo I took on the way to the airport. Okay, hear me out, guys. Hear me out. So, frankly, the bathroom, I didn't take pictures of it because I, I just didn't think it was awkward. Is the bathroom in the Honolulu airport prior to get, like, before you get past the gates? Gorgeous. Beautiful. So, the sink that was in there, I shit you not, it reminded me of Deadpool, no, my B don't come for me, Marvel games don't come for me, I meant Daredevil, it, it reminded me of Daredevil's cane from the Ben Affleck Daredevil movie. It was a Dyson sink and fan combo thing, so the middle spout was the sink, but then like the like outie parts they were an air dryer like so you would just wash your hands in the middle and then move them out to like wash your hands in the middle move them out to dry them and i actually did find a photo of it and tell me those aren't the same thing tell me tell me LexCorp isn't running this shit. i don't know what you want i don't know you what you want me to say and now i think it'd probably be best to show you pretty much just a quick little montage some music of some of the photos that I took in the area. I'll come in every now and again to talk to you about some stuff. But so this first chunk of video, this first chunk of photos is gonna be from the trip. We went from Honolulu to Seattle. We laid over in Seattle for 30 minutes. We were barely there. We had to run across. Thank God for the like trams they have at that airport. We had to run across to get to our plane. But we laid over in Seattle, and then from Seattle, we went to the Chicago airport. This is probably weird. I, I understand that. I accept that, but for some reason, I took a whole ass video of the airplane bathroom, and I didn't rec I'm not gonna allow myself to grab that recording in vain, so we're gonna watch it. Next little clump of photos is going to be from Seattle to Chicago, and I don't, I think we actually may have flown over Canada for a little bit. I I do believe we flew over Canada for a little bit and oh my god these mountains are unreal. Like they were not I I can't imagine being in a world where these mountains exist, but I saw them through the window and I took an excessive amount of photos and I will share a fraction of those photos with you guys. Last photos were of the Great Lake. To my surprise, we flew over the lake and then turned around and came back and I just thought the lake looked absolutely gorgeous. So I took some photos. Here we are, first outfit of Chicago. Felt like a 10 out of 10 with this one. 
And uh, here is some photos of the beaches on uh, by the lake. Just checking out the view from our first outing in Chicago. Like it was it was gorgeous. This last one, the reason why it looks so fake is because we took it at night and so that's with like it was pitch black out but that's with like all the like low light filters and shit doing doing their work doing their job earning their keep i also took a picture of this trap like it, 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 it okay hear me out i was very like thrown off because these trash things just have you would, it's just this, this hoop, and then you put the bag over it, and then the trash goes into it, and I just, you know, you know, <laughs> don't judge me. For our final tale of the story was, we got to the place we were staying at for a little bit, and, you know, it was exhausting, it was sad, and I missed my kids. But lo and behold, I think, Several days later, we had to go. Oh my god, the the tr because we didn't pick up the cats from like the regular airport terminals and stuff, so there wasn't really a. We picked it up from the cargo pickup, and there was no real direct route there via like any of the trains, any of the buses, nothing. So we had to take a two and a half hour like commute to get to the cargo section. We picked them up. We were several hours early with barely any battery life when we got there the company that we hired to like move the cats the number of times i told them i originally put my brother's information down because in case the cats got here before us but i also told them to put my information down and they didn't do that and it took us a while to figure out a way that they could give us our cats since my information was not down and i I almost lost my mind. I was going to cry. I was going to cuss someone out. But lo and behold, we did end up getting our little monster. So this is the Sukiyama children in their first foray in Chicago. in nugget was rough nugget looked really rough when he got home he hates the carrier he really does not like it the inside of his carrier was really bloody he scratched his nose up against the thing very aggressively to the point where his face was all cut up he also ripped one of his claws off and so that was bloody my poor baby thank he is doing a lot better now his claw is regrown he, he's doing better. He's doing a lot better. I'm very, very glad to have him back. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm very excited to share with you more of what we've been doing since we moved to Chicago. I'm very excited to catch back up with you vlogs so that way, hope before Christmas, you can see what's currently going on with my life. And I'm very excited to finally settle into this goddamn place. If you are sitting there thinking like, hey, Brianna, uh, you know, you're, I really, I've got an extra $5 a month. Is there any way that that can help? What an oddly specific thought you're having, but there definitely is. If you want to subscribe, like this channel, as well as my main channel, that would be super nice. Share it, share it with your friends. If you think that's something to like, but if you, talking about that specific five dollars you can go ahead and subscribe to my patreon over there you get some really cool things with two dollars a month you get to start getting like all my videos early that's the two dollar a month prize but with the five dollar a month you get specifically some cool things with these these are the books in the queen of thieves series available on amazon.com people at the five dollar or more tiers are going to be able to participate in our pre-release premieres and episodic releases of the rest of the books in this series and every other book i write 
and see everything, get to just join in, see some of the like thoughts behind the writing process for me, all before it even drops and is available to purchase. So if that sounds cool to you, go ahead and check that out over there. Anything else? Anything else, YouTube gods? Anything else I need to, I need, I need to rep, I need to promote? I have a Twitter. <laughs> But yeah, for real, thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to get back into the flow of things. I This is honestly the first I've felt in a long time like I'm in the rhythm and it feels fantastic and I can't wait to keep being in the rhythm and keep moving forward. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, I love it, friends. <laughs>